They've got just over 800 metres left. Bedford having a breather and a blow then. Two laps show on the chart. Great Britain leads, Finland second, East Germany third, Spain four, Russia five. And in sixth place is Karitza. And Bedford trying everything now with a lap and three quarters, but they won't let him go. Bertanen looks desperately dangerous in second place. Haro so comfortable third. Harter, the double champion, fourth. And in fifth place, Sheriff Adinov, they drop Karitza with a lap and a half left. The battle for the three medals now between this group of five and Karitza working desperately to get back. This, a race that's worth its label as possibly the greatest of the game, and it comes on the opening night. Bedford still looks reasonably easy, but one wonders whether he's got the finishing pace and Karitza's now back with the leading six. There's three yards covering the leading six, and the bell this time. Bedford for Britain, Bayatelen of Finland, Harser East Germany, Haro Spain, Sherafetzin of Russia, and Karitza of Yugoslavia, and this will be a last lap to remember. And Bayatelen of Finland and Harser of Germany, the men of the East German of Lesbos, and it's Bayatelen of Finland. Can he sustain this pace? And Bedford's been left way, way, way back. It's the Finn who leads. The champion is second. The Russian is third. And Bedford's beaten for speed. About 30, 40 yards behind. It's Finland versus East Germany. And the crowd going berserk. Harser, the champion, coming on the near side. They are tied on the curve. 80 metres left. And what a finish! probably the greatest 10,000 metres ever and the Finn wins it Bayatainen wins and Harser is defeated Sherefetinov is third Karitza fourth Haro fifth and Bedford sixth and that a fantastic run a last lap that will go down in history